Welcome back. Today is day five of our introduction to circles unit. We will be using algebra to solve problems involving inscribed angles. GeAlgebra will assist us today with solving equations. GeAlgebra is a free online tool that's very useful for solving equations and much more. Hope you enjoy the video. Oh yeah, it's that time again. We have some math problems here and we need you to do them now. Pause the video, complete the problems, and return to the video when you're done. Let's warm up. Uh, find the measure of each missing angle and arc in the diagram. All right, I wrote three relationships here. So again, because these are inscribed angles, we have um, this relationship we should know between the inscribed angle and its intercepted arc. So I know all of these are inscribed angles. Perfect. Okay, so now let's look at the first one. So I'm going to use the red because it says it's in color red. So the measure of angle X, so the measure of this angle right here, let's highlight angle X. So this is this angle. So the measure of this angle is equal to half of the measure of arc, and it's going to be this piece right here. So this piece right here, this arc, um, YZ. So what is the measure of arc yz if it's ha if that angle is half of it well let me just double that so 82 times 2 is going to be 164 perfect okay does that make sense and now that makes sense half of 164 is 82 but all i did to calculate that was just to double it all right i'm going to rewind so this doesn't get messy again just so you can see everything so that means the arc the red arc that we're talking about so this arc here if we multiply the 82 by 2, so if we multiply this angle right here, so this angle by 2, you're going to get 164. That's what all we did. <clears throat> Let's go with the blue arc. So um, the measure of angle Z, so this angle right here, so this angle correct right here, angle Z, is equal to one half of the measure of arc X, Y, so this here. So but I don't know either one of those numbers, so I'm gonna skip this and come back to it later. Let's try the next one. The measure of angle Y, so this angle over here, Y, is equal to half of the measure of arc XZ. So that's this arc here. Oh, we do know this value. So that means we can figure out what is the measure of angle Y, it's just half of 106. So that would be 53, perfect. And you can do this twice, two different ways. You can do triangle sum right here, or you can uh, do it a little bit differently. So I'm going to use triangle sum real quick. Um, we should know that. So uh, 82 plus 53 is 135. So that means, and I know the triangle sum, that means I know that three angles in the triangle need to add up to 180. So I'm just going to do a little subtraction, 180, subtract 135 will give me 5, that's a 7, and 45. Perfect. So what that tells me is that this angle here is 45 degrees. And I know that because I think back at a long time ago, maybe 8th grade, we studied that all triangles, the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is uh, 180. So there we go. And now if you want to know what the measure of that arc is, just double that number, and that's 90 degrees. Alright, hopefully that's, this is getting a little bit easier and you're starting to see how this stuff works together. Okay, you're starting to see where's the arc, where's the angle that's related to each other. So let's find the measure of the given angle. We want to find the measure of uh, angle M. Let me change colors so you can see that. So we want this angle here, M, L, N. So this is the angle we're looking for. We want to find what is the measure of this angle right here. Okay, I'll put a little question mark. That's a little question mark. And... We know this arc here, they gave it to us, so I'm just going to highlight it in another color. So here we go, we know this arc. I'm just going to write down the two things we know. So in this problem, we know one thing, we know the measure of angle MLN is equal to 18x plus 3. And we also know the measure of uh, arc of arc. M n is equal to 38x subtract 2. 
Okay, that's what we know so far. We know an angle, we know an arc. And the interesting thing about those is that's an inscribed angle with its intercepted arc. So those go together. There's a relationship there, and then we need to define that relationship. So let's write it out first. The measure of angle MLN is equal to one half the measure of arc MN. There we go. So now we're just writing out this is the relationship. The blue angle is equal to half of the red arc. Okay, so that's what we're trying to figure out. And now we just do a little math and do a little substitution and we're done with this. So let's see. This is gonna say 18x plus three. And this will be one half of something, which is the measure of arc mn is 38x subtract two. And there's my math equation. Okay, so now I can go and solve that. I'm gonna use GeoGebra to solve this. So I'm gonna go on the computer and use GeoGebra and see what I get for an answer. All right, thank you, GeoGebra. All right, let's go over this. So let's use GeoGebra. So this is GeoGebra. Remember, just type the word solve and you should see a little, look at that, little uh, formula pops up. Just type an equation in the parentheses. So the equation for this problem was 18x plus three is equal to uh, one half, one half quantity of 38x subtract two and done. So there we go. That's how we solve this one. Nice and quick, nice and simple. And just solve this equation real quick. So it tells us that X is equal to four. So now I know what X is, I can actually go back and find that angle now. So let me go find out what that measure of the angle is. So the measure of angle MLN is equal to 18, and then X is going to be here, plus 3. So I'm just going to substitute that 4 in. So put that 4 right in there, and I'll just work this out. So this will tell me, let's see if I can do some mental math. 18 times 4 is going to be 40 plus 32, which is 72. There we go, that's some good mental math, plus three more, which is equal to 75 degrees. And we are done with this problem. So in this problem, we know that this angle that we were looking for is 75 degrees. And we also know that the arc now has to be, I'm not going to even calculate it out, but it has to be 150 degrees. You can check, why don't you plug in four in for X and see if you get the same value, but I'm pretty sure you will. All right. Difficult little problem here. Find the measure of arc FD. So we want to find, this is what we're looking for. I am looking for this arc right here. What's the measure of this arc? I'll put a little question mark just so I remember. All right. Um, and I don't know what it is. So then I'm going to, I'm going to do some work. I'm going to write some things down though. So I know right now that the measure of arc FD is equal to 63 times X. All right, so if I knew what X is, I just multiply by 63, I'm done. But I don't know what X is yet, so we're going to have to figure that out. I also know that there's a little arc here, FE. FE, so the measure of arc FE is equal to 32X. Now, it looks like... DE is a minor arc, so I'm just going to assume it is and hope, pray that I'm right, but it looks like the measure of arc DE, but it's getting kind of close. DE, so I'm only going to use two letters. The measure of arc DE is equal to, hmm, I wonder if we can figure out what this is. So looking at this problem, I wonder if I can figure out what this arc is. And you should know that this angle right here is going to go with that arc. They correspond with each other. So there's the intercepted arc for the angle. So I know that DE will be equal to two times 41X plus three. I'm just gonna double that uh, angle to get the arc. So I'm gonna write that on the outside. So this is two times 41X and plus three. Okay, so I'm just doubling that. That's how these work together. So remember that the angle is always half of the arc. If I go the other way, I'm gonna double it. All right, now, Knowing these three, I can write a relationship now to end up solving for X. So the relationship is, look at those three arcs create a whole circle. The 
I don't know, what is that, a pink? The red and the blue one, they create a whole circle. So let's write uh, an equation. So I know 63x, sorry, let's use letters first. So the measure of arc FD plus the measure of arc FE plus the measure of arc DE is equal to 360 degrees. So those three arcs added up together should equal 360. And we know each one of these. So this one is 63. 63 times x. The next one, Fe, is 32 times x. And the last one is the quantity of these two right here. So perfect. And that's all equal to 360. And again, if you like, go ahead and solve this by hand. But I'm going to use my favorite little program. So in problem two here, I'm just going to leave the other one there. So just type in a new box there. So same thing, solve. And this equation is a little bit longer. So 63x plus 32x plus 2 times the quantity of 41x plus 3 is equal to 360 degrees. And we are done with that one. So the answer is 2. I'm G-Algebra. And I am going to. All right, no sweat on this one. So my answer is going to be x is equal to, thank you, GeoGebra, x is equal to 2. So now I know what x is. I can find the measure of arc FD really fast. So the measure of arc FD is equal to 63 times, and then we'll use that 2 now. So we'll times 2. Let's see if I can do some mental math. Mental math. Um, 63 times 2. It's 120 plus 6, so 126. Done. So this arc is equal to 126 degrees. Perfect. And you can figure out the rest if you want. Um, yes, and I think that was a minor arc. Yeah, looking at it, it looks like it will be. So good job. Okay, find the measure of the given angle. We want to find the measure of angle CAB. So CAB, so we are looking for this angle right here. So this is what I want to find. Um, and I see the inscribed angle that corresponds to it. So, um, so the, sorry, the intercepted arc that goes with it. And it, it's a variable, so this is going to be a little annoying. So let's just highlight these. This arc right here goes to that angle, so let's write that in. So the measure of arc CB is equal to 7x seven, seven plus 12. I also know that this arc over here is the measure of arc AB is 4x plus 14. And lastly, I know that this is a semicircle. So this is half of a circle. Um, let's give it another letter because since it's a half circle, we need three letters. A, B, C, let's call this D. So here we go. So let's go with the measure of arc A, D, C is 180 degrees. It's a semicircle. It's half a circle. So there we go. All right. Now... That wasn't too bad. Now we can quickly write an equation, write a relationship for this problem. So we know if we add up, let's add up the blue one first. So measure of arc AB plus the measure of arc BC plus the measure of arc ADC. This all has to equal 360. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. But also, we could have done it another way. So some of you might be like, you know what, I'm going to make this a little bit easier. And I'm not going to use this part right here. I'm not going to use this and the 360. I'm just going to erase those. You're going to get rid of those. And let's see what. You could have done this one also, knowing that this is just 180. Because if one side is a semicircle, then the other side must be a semicircle also. So we could have just said, boom, boom, there we go. And I'm going to use that one too, because that's shorter and makes my life a lot easier. So the measure of arc AB is 4x plus 14 plus the measure of arc BC, which is 7x 
plus 12 is equal to 180. And then I'm going to use my friend, Mr. GeoGebra, to calculate this. And so the last problem, solve my equation is going to be 4x plus 14 plus 7x plus 12 is equal to 180 degrees. And my answer is 14. Done with this one. All right, GeoGebra says the answer is x is equal to 14. So now we know our value for x. Now we can solve this little equation. And what did we want to know? Oh, looks like we have, to, we have to do a couple steps on this one. So on this one, I'm going to find the measure of arc BC first. So the measure of arc BC is equal to 7 times 14 plus 12. Let's see if I can do some mental math on that one. That one's going to be a little bit more challenging. That's going to be 70 plus 28, which is 98. Nice. Still got it. So 98 plus 12, which is equal to 110. 110. Perfect. So now we had to do this little helper step to find out what the measure of this arc is. And the arc is 110 degrees. <laughs> Now, what's the relationship between the angle? It should be half of that. So half of 110 is going to be 55 degrees. So we're done with this problem. Not too bad.